While the U.S. Fed has acknowledged that growth in the U.S. economy is improving, uh, they've also been pretty consistent in their belief that the inflationary pressures that we're starting to see are in fact transitory. Thus, they've adopted a very accommodative stance still. They continue to keep rates at the zero bound. They continue to maintain asset purchases at $120 billion per month. Now, of course, while some of the inflationary pressures we're seeing here in the U.S. are probably transitory, uh, think about, of course, some of the base effects from a very depressed 2020. Um, some of these pressures, though, may be stickier than investors anticipate. Uh, think about, of course, rising commodity prices, supply chain disruptions, causing shortages in areas like semiconductors, uh, labor shortages here in the U.S., and then, of course, ongoing upward pressure in financial markets and the housing market here in the U.S. Uh, so investors may in fact look towards uh, the September time period, and that's when unemployment insurance expires in the US. It may give us a better picture of the labor economy here. But overall, we do believe the Fed will likely at some point have to acknowledge that the crisis level accommodation they have in place now may not be needed. Uh, one meeting to look towards, of course, is the annual Jackson Hole meeting that happens typically in the end of August or early September. If there is a change in policy or change in stance, uh, we might get it at that point. Of course, uh, the first measure will likely be to taper their asset purchases and then over time raise rates off the zero bound. You know, of course, when this starts to happen, we would expect volatility in the markets to increase. We would also expect rates to trend higher uh, with the 10 year yield perhaps heading towards the 2% levels. You know, we would uh, anticipate investors being more selective, being more active at this point. While value may be in leadership uh, this year, we'd expect over time, you know, quality companies with attractive growth pro profiles to come back into favor once more.